Good afternoon, welcome to Tester's Nerf Room, yeah, blah, 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 and all the noise, 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 the last can of hoo hash. Hello. Say hello, Hi, my good friend Mecca. This is my boy Mecca. And the boy is here because I'm tired of him. I, I know you're tired, I'm tired too. Today is a really, really weird video because I am not in my Nerf room. I am at this, this, this candy factory of death that I have been building for five years. And that is because I tried to live stream and YouTube says no because YouTube likes to screw me over. So instead, we're going to be talking about whatever it is we're going to talk about on here and then I'm going to publish it. So how does that sound? It sounds good. And uh, I'm here because I am a small YouTuber and I am... I don't, we're I just, both small YouTubers in this game, bub. <laughs> I don't even have proper soundproofing. I just have LEDs. I don't have proper soundproofing either. I just go in my room with my phone and then just start recording and see what happens. Same here. And I just have like... Okay, I'm just gonna blabber out for five minutes and then post it. At least I film horizontally, you dingus. <laughs> I fell vertically sometimes, all right? I'm a person who likes vertically. I don't know how to do horizontal. I know how to do horizontal. What sort of creature are you? Anyway, we were going to talk about a lot of things. There is one thing that I want to talk about relating to Nerf that I think we ought to talk about, and that's the whole Elite 2.0 series. Oh, yummy! Like, okay. Be honest with me. What is your opinion on Elite 2.0? It is okay. It's not trash. It's just they published okay guns and then some really shitty ones. Well, try not to say shitty on this channel. This is a family-friendly YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I like this... my channel. Huh? Like, look at my channel. It's fucking... <laughs> Stop swearing. Stop <laughs> swearing. I'm to get I have to edit all these out in post processing. Great. <laughs> um, but Run. what I was gonna Jesus. say, I feel like God, I don't even know where to start with the lead 2.0. It seems like they had the right idea going. They had the right idea going. Like a whole a whole new batch of the classics, and eh. but with. A nice new color scheme and all brought together with the same the same shenanigans going on. And but then the oh crud. They they did it so stupidly. Like like <laughs> when I first saw the Elite 2.0 blasters, I was like, alright, that's sick. They're doing a new rapid strike, a new strife, a new uh a new retaliator, a new a new strong arm, all the classics, but they're gonna do it in this teal paint job. Um I do like. I yeah, do like I I love the way that they look. I think they're some of the coolest looking blasters that Nerf has ever made. Yeah. But they look like from Cyberpunk. Not really. It looks more like something you would see in Spaceballs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, then they started with a, with the cheapest possible. They started with the plastic springs, and they started with just uh, not so good bad construction oh like like the first generation warden holy lord oh my potatoes that was a what a laughing stock of a product it's like yeah it's what? like what freaking... every reviewer what that yeah. had them like almost everybody was just saying how they broke theirs and how theirs just fell apart it's like Nerf said, okay, what do we make for the cheapest Nerf blaster in the world? We'll make it 40 bucks for one. Well, it wasn't 40 bucks, it was 20 bucks, but still, what else could you get for 20 bucks? You could get an Adventure Force Villainator. <laughs> or the Spectrum, which I still don't have. The Spectrum is good. I just don't think it's very comfortable. I am going to do a review on the Spectrum eventually. Ah, oh, crap. But I don't know when that's going to I... happen. I'm might get a Mark III. A what? A Mark III. What for is the a Nerf, Mark? The what? Adventure Force series, Mark III. It's a... The Adventure Force Pro a, Mark III, okay. Yeah. That thing's damn expensive. That thing is like 
the most premium of premium stock flywheel blasters. Yeah, I, I want one, but why the frick is it like 100 bucks? It's 130, but be grateful because you could be spending that much money on the Titan CS50, like I did. Oh, that I, purchase. I spent 50 buckaroonies for a Titan CS50. How did you get my your work. Titan for fifty dollars? Target. Oh my goodness! I just fell off. The board. Like... Yeah. Well, I mean, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is Elite 2.0 really that bad? Because if you think about it, if you really think about it, they kind of tried to optimize the designs on the blasters. They did the like the Retaliator one, for example, was way more optimized than the actual retaliator was the prime was very smooth and direct they gave it slam fire they made it as compact as possible it's a bit smaller than the retaliator and the delta trooper it's like yeah they really they went out of their way to try and optimize the designs the same goes for the rapid strike one the turbine that thing was super small super compact and lightweight you could you could whip it around corners really fast. The rate of fire was really good. It's not as good as the hyper fire, but it is still very impressive, uh, even by today's standards for flywheel blasters. And then you get to hyper, which I am. Well, we'll talk about oh, hyper cool. in a bit. Um, yeah. We'll talk about hyper. But and then all of a sudden they came out with the moto blitz, and it was just Where's like a hundred and eighty degrees from where where people thought Elite 2.0 was going. And I think that the the insult to humanity are all the blaster packs that Elite 2.0 has. Oh, I was about to say that. Like, okay, yeah, but... why do I have to spend $30 on a pack with the Ace, which is a Jolt reskin, a Triad reskin, which is the Trio, and the Operator, which is just a, a two-shot prime pulled it's 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 worse than the technician it's worse than practically every alpha strike blaster it's just why did they do that the ranger i'm fine with ranger the ranger has at least the cosmetics going for it it's a beautiful blaster that you could bring into a cosplay setting you could paint it you can make it look however you want and you have a nice prop style blaster that can still shoot five shots and has slam fire just for giggles but like and plus it does look like a engine it does it looks like it looks like a turbine engine but like something like the operator has no business even being a cosplay weapon because there are countless better cosplay looking guns like that in the elite 2.0 series that you could use for the same purpose the same goes with the like, technician it's just wasted space yeah speaking of cosplay like nerf and and there's some underrated ones hmm? dark tag it, it looks the dart it, tags are are glorious looking i absolutely it's love not. dart tag blasters but yeah i have a quick 16 that doesn't even work and oh i still want to with it it looks amazing i it's, mean it's whenever we meet up you're gonna have to bring that thing because i could probably fix it for you <laughs> yeah it's one of my most favorite design of blasters yeah um it's just <laughs> I think the Quick 16 looks really, really cool. Uh, the the Swarm Fire looks amazing. And the sad thing is, the Titan is probably the most beautiful blaster in my collection, but I hate it. I real I cannot stand that thing. I am... You know, your, your version has the worst ability to fire. Mine is just running like a kitten. Well... The problem is that I got an import from a different country for some reason. I don't know why, oh. because we just ordered the one off of Amazon, and this is what they sent in. But but regardless, even if it does work, it's a $100 Rapid Strike reskin that is gigantic. What's the point? I mean, you got to really think it, about it. it. It's a spinning barrel. <laughs> yeah, like... I understand for cosplay reasons, but not in the Elite series. They should have done the Titan as a nerf limited and gave it a proper paint job and really made it look like something you would see in, like, Destiny 2 or something like that. 
Oh, they should have done a TF2 collab with Limited. Oh. <laughs> well, I've, if they would have done that, then you would have been paying the $100 for the blaster, but at least it would be a fully automatic magazine-fed uh, Gatling gun with the 50-dart drum. But because they put it in the Elite series, it's just like, it's going to be compared with all the other Elite lineup blasters. So, yeah, the Rapid Strike stuck with limited. and the Hyperfire. Yeah. I think this was before Nerf Limited, but I could be wrong on that. Yeah. Like, they should collab with Nerf Limited with TF2. I don't know if that's even possible because of licensing rights and stuff. Yeah, Valve, I wanted to have, like, the most favorite design of my weapons. The Brass Beast, the Tommy Slav. I love those. They're I mean, amazing. think about if they did a gun based off of the heavy, how many units that thing would sell overnight. <laughs> Quick! Hey. Yeah. Especially if they actually put some sort of functionality in it that really made it new and interesting. Like the Needler Blaster. I really want to get a oh. Needler Blaster, even though it is the slowest fully automatic blaster in the entire world. It's but, like Mag Sarum's gun. Oh my god, that'd be a great idea. Yeah. Just like someone is like buying actual design prop from the favorite series I loved. Yeah. Like, I don't know how would they. Like, I had an idea for prop sentry guns. Yeah. Exactly. Just, it's like. They have the ability to do so, so why don't they embrace the fact that they are the number one blaster brand and actually give us things that we want to have? Why are all the trees? Yeah, I like TF2. I seriously love TF2. What is this? Oh, Look at this. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what happened here, but. Yeah. Damn, bro, they cut the cost on the trees. <laughs> they have to. I really think I think that would be really cool and pretty yeah, much TF2. guaranteed to make bucks overnight yeah. just because of the TF2 logo, considering how big TF2 is as a game. Um, yeah. And that's probably the only reason the Fortnite and Minecraft blasters sell so much is because those are games that everybody I knows and lots of people play. I know Fortnite gets a lot of slack. But the game itself isn't as bad as people say. It's just because of the memes and the fan base that it makes it. Eh. Yeah, which I just don't yeah. love fan base. I'm okay with the game. I like the design of the tanks. Huge fan. Like, I think yes. I think Fortnite's all right, but that's not really what this video is about. Um, yeah. I think that Nerf has really dropped the ball on some of the Fortnite releases like the the pump yeah. sg was just a disgrace to all humanity and um uh, yeah like the amount of strife reskins in that line holy god i think there's more strife reskins in the Fortnite lineup than any other uh blaster lineup out there they've got raven reskins they got strife reskins they got everything i'm gonna make a meme if i have if i had a nickel every time i wanted a strife reskin from the fortnite series in nerf i would have two nickels which is kind of made it happen two times well actually no you'd have more because you had the you had the ar you had the arl um you yeah. also had the the IR, the infantry rifle, the, the names are so weird. And then you had the the compact SMG, that's another one. You had the the purple one that looked like the Strife, I have no idea what it's called. And then yeah. they released a yellow one that looked the same. Um, yeah. And, okay, if, I'm just going to say this. Yeah. Fun little tool to fact. TF2 is running on the coconut. A PNG of a coconut. That's funny. So it is true. <laughs> Just... well, yeah. But, like, yeah. If I go into... If I go into Google over here and I just type Nerf Fortnite, you would get a lot of Strife reskins. Like, okay, you got the ARL. You got the ARL. You've got um, the BAR. That's another one. The IR. The... What is this? 
Oh, they made like a mega lightning bow reskin. Is that a new one Ooh. they're coming out with? That's actually that actually looks really nice. I, I won't. I actually might want one since I do love the Thunderbow. Like I am a huge fan of both. I would love to get the Thunderbow. That would be really really cool. They released the AR again. The AR Ripley. There's oh. the infantry rifle. Here it is. The SMGE. That's the purple one that I was talking about. Yeah. Which is kind of like for design, so it's just a small, compact boy. I think the SMGE is a very nice looking blaster, but there's no reason to get it. There's so many strife reskins. And yeah, there's too many. There really and is. And then they did they did the one strife reskin in the the Alpha Strike line, and they did the, the Phoenix in the Elite 2.0, which I can understand because that's their new flagship series to replace elite so they're going to do a new strife for that um even though pretty much everybody can agree universally that the phoenix is slightly worse than the strife the only thing that i think is better about the phoenix than the strife well there's two it's things summer free. i do like it there's two things the one it's they... symmetrical that is very important to me because I have uh, OCD and it kills me every time I look at the strife. I seem kind of he mid. Like my favorite, some of my favorite weapons have asymmetric designs due to. I'm a huge fan of box mags. Oh no, I understand what you mean. Like when the mag, when the magazine is coming out of the side of the blaster. No, that's not what the strife does. It has like yeah. all of the internals are on the right side of the blaster sticking out and the left side is completely flat it looks so bad when you look at it from the front or the back yeah that's what i mean and the phoenix fixes it the phoenix fixes that yeah which i do love the phoenix just for its slim design that, that is one thing that i really like about the phoenix is that it is symmetrical and i just think that i think that having all the tactical rails on it is just way more fun because the Strife has its fair share of tactical rails, but the Phoenix has a lot more. And I just um, love trying to see how much crap I could strap to the blaster at once. And then figuring out how to run it. Yeah. Wait, like, uh, still, continue on with the TF2 thing. They, sh they should have done a short stop. Shell ejected. Did nerf gun of the short stop. They ought to, like, what they should have done, and what I really think they should do, is release a model with the same internals as the Gjallarhorn one from Destiny yeah. 2, but without the licensing. That yeah. mega shell ejecting blaster would, you would never see it in stores because that's how fast people would buy it. Like, yeah, we have never got a shotgun shell ejecting mega like even so, if uh, it is in the fortnite series and you'd have to pay extra for the fortnite licensing that mechanism all by itself would be worth uh, the, would be worth the buy it really that's is. what we want to fight in. it's just a massive freaking missile i love it yeah the, the original titan the end strike titan yeah they I really they should re-release that in the elite 2. yeah i think that's another thing they ought to do is and they should name it the Juggernaut. The just Juggernaut. For... Well, names are a completely different story, but they should redo a model of the uh, the original Titan rocket launcher. Oh, that and... thing I still... You know what? Yeah, and plus what... refill packs for the Titan rockets. Well, like, you would pay, like, $5 and get one missile or two missiles, but it would be all right because it's such a huge projectile, it's impossible to lose. He's want more. Yeah. Fine. So yeah, that's another thing that they ought to do, and maybe not make it just shoot one. Maybe they could make it like uh, shoot two. Or no, that's not what I meant. Okay. I mean like instead of making it like the big long rocket launcher the way that they have it, yeah. make it more like an actual shoulder-mounted RPG. And oh yeah, like a compress. Yeah, like yeah. So I had this idea one night. I was talking to this dude, my boy right here. And I was thinking about a this, the Titans, Aiden, that shoots three rockets with compressed air. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that would be that would be just three oh, Titan rockets I... at once. Um, so <laughs> it's just a memeable design. It's just. <laughs> I think you that... walk up to someone, direct impact. Yeah. Three um. Times. But essentially, like I'm thinking. Oh, think about this. If they did like a triple, like a revolver for one of those, like you remember the oh, the God. Arrow Revolution bow? Yes. The way that that. I've yeah. seen one of those. Like, I'm feeling like Something like that, but instead of that, it's like five or six plunger tubes that all hold the Titan rockets just on the front, only mounted from the back, just all together, and. You would pull the pump handle back just to advance the cylinder. It could still be the same uh, pumping air tank mechanism, but just being able to fire off five or six of those at once sales for sales for weeks. I mean, that is yeah. it's money That'd on the table. That'd be fun I mean. too. Like it's memeable. Like you can just like I want to have a Titan CS, the Titan. Titan, the original Titan, walk up to someone and then shoot him once. You're just used They're to saying front. Titan CS50. I could, You already started yeah. to automatically say CS50 after he said Titan. <laughs> like, back then, you guys still love just like, I am heavy weapons guy. I'm the heavy weapons guy. That's why the Titan is so vindicating to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Like, actually, in every Nerf game that I've ever went to, I'm two different people. In the morning, I'm the camper guy who sits in the corner, and then every round after that, I'm the heavy weapons guy who just runs out in the middle field yelling and, and shooting Nerf darts everywhere. <laughs> I would, if I were to get an XL series, it would be the boondozer, and then just say, I'm a flyaway. To another <laughs> it's just gonna be Devil Man voice lines. The boom dozer oh. is fun, but never in a million years would I carry that thing in a battle. Never. I would. I would it's not. Just... Not ever. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you don't know, there is one Nerf gun I wanted for like the GL, the idea of the GL. Yeah. <clears throat> TF2's Dumb Man's primary grenade launcher. Oh my god. That's your... Well, I'm not really that big on TF2, so I can't comment much on that, but just from the sound of it, it sounds like it could be cool. Yeah, six, six rockets in a compact design. I love it! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm sad they don't do it. It's like, why? Well, I why? don't know if they could license TF2. That's the problem. Like, yeah, I like... love it's like True. licensing costs and copyright infringement oh. is a very, very big deal. And big even money. one tiny offense can cause a lot more problems than it thinks. Or yeah. what you think. So it's like. Yeah. He has two is still my, one of my most favorite things. Like, if we're going to like custom made blasters, I like it. It looks amazing. Yeah. It seems like foam in nature. I still want one because it's the force in nature, which I still love. Hmm. It's design. I like it. Huge fan of double barrels over here. Big fan. Um, I don't really <clears throat> have much opinion on double barrels. I just like the shotgun action. Like, that's why I love the Saturn so much is because it gave that realistic yeah. shotgun action that you can't really get anywhere else. Yeah, and it looks like the trend shotgun, which I still love trend shotgun designs. Yeah. It's it's almost one of my most favorite blasters. Hmm. Now we're gonna talk about hyper. Yeah, hyper. Um I don't know what the deal is with that series, but I think that they're starting to go in the right direction. I think that the yeah, they're all really good. The like, hopper button <laughs> The two hopper button blasters look incredible. I think that the yeah. the Impulse 40 is probably going to be the best hyper pistol out of all three of them. And the um, the Evolve oh, 100, 100, from what I've did. heard and from what you've said, is extremely good. Yeah, it's actually good feeding. I was like, hold up. 
Better Siege 50? A wife is 52 bucks! And that is... That is genius on Hasbro. They made the absolute right choice. They fixed the Siege 50 and re-released it. And, um... The handles are mediocre. It's like... Okay, this is kind of fine. But it does look like an alien rifle. Like... Go with good. You're doing good, Nerf. Yeah, I like you're doing good. Um, like, my head is just shaking. Just like, yes, I want more of this series. Yeah. It's like, that. <clears throat> that is money on the table. If they could just fix and then re-release the three primary blasters. The Mac is super easy to fix if they just did two things. If they just improved the hopper mechanism... Not the hopper yes, mechanism, but the feeding mechanism to add more, um, add more distribution to the movement of the round so that it was moving more. And, um, what was the other one? What was the other one? Pretty much just tried to give it better, more consistent feeding, I suppose. Yeah. And the ergonomics, I loved for it. The ergonomics, I loved it. Oh, that was the other one. Giving it a rechargeable battery like the Percy's did. Yeah, which I just, like... Yes. Why did I get one? I'm sad. Sad. Sad mecha noises here. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why you didn't get one, because... Yeah, I, just... I love... I like full auto machine guns. Wait, you have the Mac, don't you? Yeah, I like it. It's just heavy. Just it's oh. extremely heavy, and I really wish that Nerf would put a rechargeable battery for it, even um. though you can't now because the battery pack is already built into the blaster. And it uses you can use lipo for it too. Yeah, if you can figure out how to hook it up, like I know that the the Nerf modding community is really good at that. They could take any blaster and make it use a, a lipo a lipo battery within minutes, but... Oh, uh, we should have to do that. Ugh, I'm tired. Yeah. We should have to York, do that. Should we should talk about the vintage Nerf guns. What do you Just mean? Like... Old Nerf guns in general. Old classics the... or the vintage series? Yeah. Well, The vintage series. Classics, basically. Well, the classics, I mean... I mean, have, define but, Nerf classic, because that's going to be slightly different for everybody. Take the rotor track, which is one of my most favorite designs. I'm still, like, hold up, Nerf can have a good idea there, but still don't make it, because it's old as hell, and it uses the old Mega Darts. Yeah, the is... old Mega Dart, the ones that, that don't work with new Mega Blasters. Yeah. I think that the... I think stuff like, like, I am so tired, oh my gosh. I think stuff like the original N-Strike Vulcan is what I would classify as classic. Yeah, same here, it's just, yes, I love its design. Um, oh my goodness. I borderline simp for the gun's design, like, yes. I mean, I wouldn't say that I simp for it, but it is a very nice design. And I actually have one in my collection now. I just have yet to review it because I don't have the ammo box. Which I'm trying to find an ammo box for version with the ammo box. I want one with the ammo box and belt. I mean, I could, I could go on eBay right now and get an ammo box, but I'm saving up for something else first. So I'm not going to do that yet. But yeah. yeah. Do you remember the old barrel break? I do remember the barrel break. Oh, wow. That's nostalgic I, I, for me. I still want one. I mean, the barrel break really doesn't have anything to offer you today. It's just the barrel break. It looks good. It, it looks good. <laughs> That's all I can pay for. It. it looks very nice, but at the same time, there are many, 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 many other blasters that have a very similar appearance that you could use for way cheaper and are way more accessible wow you have to pay fifty dollars for a barrel break now what good lord hasbro what are you doing well 
They've been discontinued for a really long time. Yeah, I'm gonna get some Elite 2.0 stuff whenever I get the chance. But yeah, if, if I were to go on to, on to eBay or something and look for barrel breaks. Wow, a new one is $200. I guess the barrel break is more valuable than I thought. Yeah, it, lo it looks good too. Here we go, I, $15 used on eBay. That's what you ought to do. Yeah, 15 bucks max. It's the red one. I would pick the new old brand, which I do like the old red one. Yeah, one. I think I think the red one looks nice, but I never got it just because there were many other blasters that I wanted to get first. I am okay. Speaking of one of my most favorite blast nerf blasters that he doesn't have, the Stampede. Oh yeah, the Stampede. If I can ever find one of those at the thrift store, I'm definitely getting that. That's I got like, one from the Icon series, and it, it, it's one of the freaking best Nerf guns I ever got. It's like, hold the phone. Nerf was better in the olden days? Oh, absolutely. Nerf was better in the olden days. I mean, they have really cheaped out nowadays. They rarely make stuff that's good. The Moto Blitz is amazing, but that's like a really rare instance of a newer release actually being worth buying. Yeah, it's like the diamond dozen. Just like, what? I know. And, um, why? It's here. Um, I there are a few blasters that I really am counting on showing up at the thrift store at some point. One of them is the stampede. Another one is the, uh, the sledge fire. And Same here. I want one. It's just like, yes. Yeah, and if possible. The Demolisher. The original uh, Strike. I see the one. Demolisher. Demolisher. But it didn't work. Or the Titan like... Rocket Launcher. Although that is like so unlikely that it's not even fair. And even if it does, what are the odds that that will have the rocket with it? I mean, come on. Alright, pretty yeah, much anything. Same here. Pretty much anything from the old N Strike line, I would happily get. Or the Rapid Fire 30 for me. Just the like, rapid what? Yes. The rapid fire thirty, like twenty round, thirty round. I think it's twenty rounds. Rounds in a drum like design where you had the air pump one. Let me see. Like it's pumping and fire, which I still want. Oh, one the rapid rapid fire it. AS twenty. Yeah, that is that is a very nice gun. Oh. I wish they would go back to using air tanks for for blasters yeah. like they did. Air tanks, I loved. Like yes, air tank, yes. Like Give they me. did. Like, I mean, they're doing that with the Moto Blitz, and the Moto Blitz is the newest release from Elite 2.0. That's why I'm so excited team. about the Explorer. And I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much for the Explorer, but Wait. it looks very good. What the heck? I, I'm actually... You got me intrigued into a new blaster I don't know about. The Explorer? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, let me go and show you a picture of the Explorer. Where is it? 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 Uh ha The Explorer. So this blaster is the newest Elite 2.0 leak that came out. Look how big the trigger is. Why do you think this blaster needs a two-fingered trigger? That's what raises questions for me. Why does it have a two-fingered trigger? Fuck nerf! You finally made it back! Well, I don't know. I have no idea what this thing even does. All I know is that it has the three darts at the front. It looks like a cylinder, but I can't be sure. And the fact that it has the really big trigger really raises questions because that is not just a thing that Nerf does. It's like when they make the two-fingered triggers, they've done that only a handful of times. The only two times that I can think of are the Vulcan and the Mag Strike. And the Mag Strike, the... Um, and the Titan Rocket. Things with air tanks. Look at that, look at that pump thing on the back. That looks like something that you would pull back and forth a bunch of times for an air tank. This looks like an air tank gun. Finally. And guess what? What? I am a huge fan of two f finger triggers over here. Critical I, mean, fan. I like two-finger triggers if they make sense, but just including two-finger <clears throat> triggers on guns just to do that doesn't make sense. Like, I still critically love them since I just love 
having one finger off, but still having another finger for ready fire. Yeah, um, that's one thing that I kind of like about the <clears throat> the spectrum is the rev trigger is two fingers, or it's actually one point five fingers, if that makes sense. What the? It's like half of it's like a trigger and a half of one. It's really weird. I'll have to show you later, but yeah, I'm excited for the explore just because of this whole grip area and the whole back area. It looks so weird. There's no way that this is just gonna be another triad reskin. There is no way just from looking. But air tank powered. I can't see it. I cannot see this ending up being just another triad reskin. It doesn't make sense. If they did an air tank, someone's gonna modify the front to make it fire mega darts. You could probably do that easily just looking at that thing. One question that I forgot I was going to ask you is we should talk about what our favorite and least favorite nerf blasters are. Oh, there's a lot of them. Like, if I were to pick, if I don't have one, it would be the sludge fire for me. Just, I love break barrel action. Like, yeah! The sledge fire is very nice, but I'm talking about like guns that you already have in your collection that you can just go and pick up whenever. Like for me, the sledge fire I still love, but if I don't have one, I didn't. I because I don't have one. The um, the oh, what was it? I'm, 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 I'm going to there it is. The shell strike. The shell strike. Yeah. Why is Which the is shell just... strike your favorite gun? It looks like a flare gun from the future. It does. I don't know why my frame rate is so freakishly slow here. Plus, your camera's not working for me. It's just, it's just, it's just a well, circle. Yeah, my camera just crashed a while ago. Uh, Two chunks. Um. We're continuing on. We're anything about nerf. On. Yeah. Like um, why is the Shell Strike your favorite gun in your collection, out of everything that you have? I love Shell of Blasters. You know, like, the Trilogy, oh, the Sledge Fire, the Gallarhorn, which is coming out, which I still want one. Just the fact that it is, uh, it's like a, uh, shotgun pistol that Shell fed is why you like it so much? Yeah, I like shotguns! I'm a huge fan, like, I like China Lakes, the green launcher. I love launcher. shotguns, at the same time, I love sniper rifles, though. And that's why I, I, I want the Modulus Long Strike so bad, even though I don't know when on earth I'm going to be able to get one of those. Is this thing going to appear or disappear? Like, the fair is a better sniper rifle than any other one. It is, yeah. Like, for me, the muzzle brake, I loved it. Critically loved it. Yeah, what the... It's a, it's a 50 caliber. That looks, it's not 50 caliber. Can you look it at my stream like really quick? Yeah. Look. Do you see that? The void! The back rooms. My Minecraft is drunk. I don't know. <laughs> drunk Minecraft. <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel old to saying that. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> but I'm just trying to make the render distance better. But, um. Yeah, what about your least favorite blaster? Oh, there is a lot of just nerf. I'm talking about like the absolute last blaster you would ever want to use for any reason. Okay, there's a lot, but I don't hate all of them. But if I were to pick, I am literally rummaging through it right now. A whole sparkle. <laughs> Yeah. The blasters I have. It would be the Alpha Hawk. The Alpha Hawk. Just just why nerf? Why? What do you mean? What is your what's your reasoning? I do like sound effect. It's bolt action, but it's just it only works on a rare bloody moon. It's a Spectre reskin. It was a it yeah. was a thirty dollar Spectre reskin. And, and I'm just gonna say... Mm -hmm. Did you just throw your blaster across the room? Yes. Why would you do oh, that? Because I hate it. Oh my gosh. I mean, 
It is the Alpha Hawk. I don't really know what to tell you. It's not good. <laughs> it, not, not, it not, it not, not good. Really, not really good. And it defeats the whole purpose of the reason people bought the Spectre, which was for the attachments. Yeah, it's just like... Why? <laughs> I don't know. Um, as for my favorite and least favorite blaster, that is an excellent question. My favorite blaster would probably have to be the Hyperfire. Eh. For me, it's perfect. It is small enough to where you can easily tote it around. It's magazine fed so you can change the magazines out quickly. It's buttery smooth. The rate of fire is magnificent. It shoots Boy. roughly 70 FPS. Using a quick battery upgrade, you could probably get it shooting way harder. It's like 130. It's like the Nexus Pro. Yeah, think about that. And with and how fast the rate of fire already is with those upgraded batteries, think about how fast it would shoot then. Oh. Like, oh. I love the Hyperfire. For me, that blaster is <clears throat> as close to perfection as you could get. My least favorite blaster. <laughs> Take a guess. Take a wild guess which one. Okay. Brain's off. No. What? The nail biter. My least favorite blaster is the Titan CS50. I'm sorry. I cannot support that thing at all. It, it was $200 and it does not work. <laughs> ever. Mine works. It's just like, how the frick? But here's the thing. The when, the I bet nail biter, the Titan is important. when the nail biter and the brain saw did work, they worked far better than the Titan could ever dream. They shot further than the Titan, and they shot faster than the Titan. The Titan barely works when it does shoot. The darts come out. The whole tops are all scratched from the conveyor belt, dragging them forward like one millimeter at a time. Um, like my Titan CS50 works like heaven. It's just like. How in the world is it still good? But here's the thing. Even when it does work, the concept is flawed. Because you are paying yeah. $100 for essentially a Rapid Strike reskin <clears throat> that is unwieldy and gigantic. When the Rhino Fire came out years ago, does the exact same thing, retailed for the exact same price, Looks is cool. much smaller and easier to hold... Yeah, it, it looks, looks cool. better. The pusher system is built into the gimmick, so you're not wasting energy on the spinning barrel. And it shot from two different magazines. It was literally the perfect heavy gunner blaster, and I still use it to this day. It barely works because I've ran over 5,000 magazines through it at this point. But yeah, Jeez. that just shows how good it is and how reliable I'm... it is. Yeah. Since I do love two-barrel machine guns, like, I'm a huge fan of, like, double-barrel machine guns. When the Titan came out, when the Titan was leaked, I was super excited for it, and when I got it, I was just vindicated. I felt like my life was a lie in this hobby. Yeah. Like, the brain saw has one upside. It looks good. The brain saw... No, yeah. the Titan looks beautiful. I love yeah. the way that blaster looks, and that's why I still have mine and why I painted mine, despite never, ever using it, ever, even back before I painted it. Because yeah. as a prop, it's magnificent. It looks beautiful and glorious. But yeah. the brain saw only looked good from one side, and even from that one side, it was a meh cosmetic me, I do love Chainsaw. Like, I'm a huge fan. I, I do like the too. Brain I do too. That's why I bought the Brainsaw in the first place, is because it's a Chainsaw shotgun. How could you possibly fail it? Well, they failed it. <laughs> they yeah, found like, a way. Yeah, they found a freaking way. Like, I'm still getting one just for the design. I would get one and put it up on a shelf and never touch it. Ever. Never fire it. The same thing yeah. I do with the Titan. But at least the brain saw is better because it costed fifty dollars instead of one hundred and now two hundred. Yeah. But mine costs like fifty bucks at Target. Just like 
You got all? very lucky. You got very lucky with your Titan. I, I, I might, I'm, I, I, have, I may have, like, an American one. Just fully made for America. If a Titan CS50 shows up at the thrift store, I will be picking it up, and I will be comparing it to the one that I already have. And if I don't see any performance gains, holy crap, I, I, shots are gonna fire in my review. That's just gonna happen. Like, it, like, may, you maybe got a potato one. I did not get a potato one. Just the concept of the Titan, I don't think is good because of the Rhino Fire existing. If the Rhino Fire yeah, didn't I exist, like the Rhino fire and the Hyper Fire didn't people. exist, I could let off the Titan. Because yep. at least it looks great, and it comes with a 50 dart drum. Like, we never got that. And I've, I've got a lot of things to say about the Titan, but I'm not going to say those things in this video. In fact, I think that it is probably about time that I turned off this video because we've been going for an hour already. Wait, what the frick? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Man, we can run about five hours of Nerf Gun. I think that's bit. about how, as long as we have time for on this stream, so... If any of y'all watched this entire live stream, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this is not Tessera, this is my Volcano account on, uh, on my gaming channel, but thank you guys for watching. If y'all have any thoughts on any of the stuff that we talked about, feel free to post it in the comments below. Comments are open, and, uh, yeah. Go subscribe yeah, go to check Mecha. out my channel. Yeah, go subscribe to Mecha the Dragon. He's really, really cool. I've been friends with him for years, but, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should have talked about, we should really talk about how we met. Just like at random, like, oh hello. We met in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> but, yeah. The weirdest way just Yeah, we'll talk friend. about that in a different video. But yeah, so thank you guys yeah. for watching. I will see y'all next time. Um I still don't have an outro. Oh my god, I need to make an no, outro. Potato. I really need to make an outro. Oh my god.